I'm sure you guys have been thinking about this as well, but with the release of the Fire and Ice banner, we got our first ever two hero banner in Fire Emblem Heroes. Is that actually a good thing though? Let's talk about it. Hey guys, I'm Nimius, a gacha YouTuber and streamer. If it's your first time ever on this channel, consider subscribing for Fire Emblem Heroes news, gameplay, and whatever else comes to mind. I also do other gacha games like Azure Lane, Dragia Lost, Fig Grand Order, and more. But <laughs> enough of that, let's get on to the topics. So I wanted to separate this into three you know, talking points because I think that way it's easier to understand. Number one, are two hero banners good for FEH? Number two, did a two hero banner have to happen? And number three, are two hero banners going to be a recurring thing? Now, let's start with the first topic. I just wanted to point this out in case, you know, people aren't aware of this. I'm sure you are, but it has to be um, made very clear. When you summon, your first orb, ignoring the free summon, of course, your first orb is five orbs. You know, the first time you summon a hero is five orbs, and the final orb you summon on is three orbs. Therefore, if you summon five heroes by going through the entire round, you spend 20 orbs. If you snipe a hero, basically go in and there's only one color of that orb and you leave and you do that five times, you spend 25 orbs. In other words, you could save some orbs if you do a full summoning round. As there's only two heroes, uh, Yogur and Surtur, the chances of a full summoning round would be minuscule if not impossible. Well, it's not impossible, but it's unlikely. So the basic thinking there is, therefore, there is poor orb efficiency and you would not get the heroes as easily. However, if you take a look at the graphic, that's actually not true because that 3% rate is divided up into only two heroes. You can get Surtur for 57 orbs at medium, 75 orbs um, at average, and Yogurt's still pretty damn good at 65 orbs median and 87 orbs average. In other words, it's easier to get a hero even if you're not doing a full round. And the reason why I'm bringing this up is because over the past couple of days, well, it's literally a couple because it's only been two days since this has been announced. Um, there's people have been really divisive about this and some people haven't understood what it fully meant. Now, I initially thought that as well, but mathematically, this is actually in the player's favor in terms of getting a hero. And if you're a collector, there's only two heroes and the rates for them are higher. So it's very easy to get them. Also, this also means if you really want one of these heroes, you should go for it. There aren't any better rate banners, I don't believe. Yeah, I don't believe that's even possible. Um, the only other banners that I can think of that are very comparative or really good are single color banners. Like the Falchion banner, for example, when you had four five star heroes, all using Falchion, um, all being one color, the entire rate got stacked up into reds. That was a really good banner as well in terms of get, pulling a five star. But yeah, in terms of this, uh, this is a new new level. It's it's amazing. If you really want, in other words, if you really want Surtur or uh, Yogurt, uh, I blanked for a moment. Um, this is great. And it also means like no one has any uh, excuse not to summon on this. Honestly, I think uh, Surtur is possibly the best hero in the game, but I'll talk about that in another video. It's just that he's so good in arena, uh, grand hero battles, uh, ether raids, grand conquest, anything and everything you can think of, this guy plays a massive role in it. But yeah, let's move on. So, you know, point two, did this have to happen? Because if you think about it, it did it have to be just Yogur and Surtur? Well, if you look at the voting on this, on the um, thumbs up, thumbs down for the video, pretty clear people weren't happy about it. And I would say it doesn't have to happen because Herd was an option. If we're going to go up to Fire and Ice motif, you could have had a Niffo Prince and a Princess for representing Ice and Surtur is still representing Fire. And you could have gotten that done out of the way. Now, the speculation was, you know, Herd is going to be the Grand Hero Battle Hero and he's going to be free. So why would you want him to be in the banner, you know? Well, unfortunately, with the data mine out, we now see he's not the Grand Hero Battle Hero. Uh, maybe they have something special in store for him but he wasn't really memorable in the story. In the story, he was more like, I'm not the traitor. And then everyone's like, kind of like half accusing him. And then he's like, I'm not the traitor. And that's about it. He like, he did nothing in the story. I would question why even people want him, but it, he would have fit in the banner at least. Uh... All right, but um, he's not here. So this didn't have to happen. And if, even if you thought about it, as in Herd isn't available. Well, you also have Bruno and Lo Loki. Uh, sorry, Bruno and Veronica. And hell, Loki could have been in the banner if you just reorganized the, you know. Yeah, if you just reorganized the banners. So you could have had a three hero banner. So this definitely didn't have to happen and it was a conscious decision by IS. 
That said, is this going to be a recurring thing? And I don't think so. I think this is going to be really rare because I really think Aias is just testing the waters here or they were unprepared. I think this banner got put out because they already had the assets ready. You know, maybe they want to make a bit more extra money, uh, put out more heroes, people spend more orbs, make some money. I, I would say that's probably the case. Or they wanted to try out the two hero format. In the future, instead of making a, a singular banner for heroes, it could be two banners with two heroes, making sniping a lot easier. That could be in the favor of players, but I don't really know. That's my speculation. We might see more of it, but it really depends on how people um, take this banner in. And as you can see from the voting in the video, people weren't really happy. Um, but I think that's a bit misleading because, again, this is in the favor of the players. Uh, personally, for me, I'm going to be summoning this Thursday or Friday, probably Thursday. But this is it's just so hard to pass on it. I want I was going to pass on the banner until I looked at the rates. Getting Surter is basically, well, it's not basically free, but it's like a huge discount from what it normally is. Normally, you, your median for pulling a hero is like 100, 120 orbs. Now it's just, you know, 50. And the average is like 75. It's, it's amazing. Anyways, guys, I just wanted to clear some things up, let you guys know my feelings on it, and uh, happy pullings. Until next time, this was Nimius. Love you all. Bye-bye.